Oh my gosh, I have a top-down camera. Um, I am going to be setting up my Filling the Creative Well journal. So reading, watching, that type of stuff. Um, this is the journal that I have. It's not the one that I ordered for this, but it hasn't even shipped. And I have so much to add already that I've done, and it's only the sixth, but I've watched an entire anime. I went to the theaters and watched a movie, and I've read uh, five volumes of manga. So <laughs> I need to get in here. So we are setting up this uh, Galaxy Cup from Notebook Therapy. It is white paper with the dot grid. So yeah, and holographic edges, so pretty. And I have created a list of the spreads I want to do. So I want to do a 2023 reading and watching goals, a pocket for the bookmarks. I have actually made one so far. I made a bookmark uh, for keeping track of the books that I read. Uh, I want to have a bookshelf to fill in, a film strip to film in, fill in. Um, I need to do, I want to do a bracket of for my favorite movies, a bracket for my favorite books, and a bracket for my favorite anime or TV show. Um, I have a 23 and 2023 TBR, so I have 23 books that I really want to read this year. Uh, some of them are anticipated releases, so two of those I pre-ordered last night. I'm very excited. I want to watch at least one movie a month, so I want to have the 12 movies to be watched, at least nine TV shows to be watched. Uh, this will be huge for me because I usually only watch like two, maybe three a year because <laughs> I just don't. <laughs> Um, but I burn out on writing, so I want to start refilling my creative well throughout the year. I want to do a spread for anticipated releases. I want to track all the books I buy, all the books I receive, all the books I donate, and also possibly movies that I donate, because I have a lot. Um, a list of unread physical books that are on my shelf, which is a lot. <laughs> and a list of unwatched movies on my shelf. I have movies I own that I've never seen. I need to get that watched, and I also need to do a January spread. So that's what's on the docket. So yeah, let's get this underway. So this is the bookmark I made out of like a cardstock thing that I did with Sharpie and pen. So, so far I've read half of Chromophobia, maybe half, um, but then I've been binge reading Tokyo Ghoul. I've seen the anime of just Tokyo Ghoul, not Rue A or Re or anything, but um, I have the box set, so I've started reading through. I'd already read the first volume before, but I haven't read the series, so there we go, going through. So I need a pocket to put these in because I want to do a bookmark a month. So, yeah. So, to start it off, you're going to initiate it. It has been initiated. Um, I think I want to do a sticker here. I do have all of these Junji Ito stickers, which I'm super excited about. As you can tell, they are horror. <laughs> um, so this will mostly be horror books. Um, so yeah, but like we've got got some fun stuff. Um. I think this one because it's refilling my brain in this journal so let's see if I can unstick the back
<laughs> Heck yes. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay. So there's always the funky page. Let's do Porchman. No. Let's do one. Do I want to say refilling the creative well? Alright, so I just did a quick sketch. I think I want to do a cup filling with water. Like a, a teacup, because you know, I love teacups. <laughs> so yeah. Not perfect, oh well. So I went with this spirally smoky look, and this is my creative well journal. Woohoo! So, um, I don't know if this will be more than one year, but just in case, I want to do a year cover page. So. Blackout dot grid, but I don't think I want to use the dots for the corners. I want just regular black paper. So I'm gonna go get the big thing of scrapbooking paper that I inherited from my mother's closet as we cleaned it out this Christmas. So I have all of this paper. It's so fat. But yeah. Um, let's get crafted. It's not completely in the center, but oh well. Um, on to the goals pages. So I want to do um, reading and watching goals. So, yep.
So totally unplanned, but there's exactly 50 books on one page. So I have room to expand if I blow my goal out of the water. So yeah, I got my bookshelf and I believe it is time to do the film strips. And if I don't count this one, that's 50. Woo! So I'm going to color them in if they're in the theater or just a regular movie, a TV show, a short film, or anything. So, got that tracker done. Um, so, next up, I believe, is the. Do I want to do brackets first or my lists? So we have some brackets. We've got favorite book, favorite movie, favorite TV show. And this needs a sticker. Alright. Got 23 book covers. <laughs> Printed and cut out. That was an ordeal. Um, I guess they're still a little big, but eh, we'll see. So, some of the comics and stuff are more square than rectangular, so. So I've got 23 books. Now I need to pick out my 12 movies and my nine TV shows that I want to watch. I already know two of the TV shows. I've already watched one and I've started the second. So <laughs> I may have binge watched Chainsaw Man in like two days. So yeah, time to go out and find those movie posters, I guess. All right, I have my 12 movies, 9 anime and TV shows. Oh, so I had to go through, pick them out, find the posters, resize them, print them out, cut them out, but they're done. <laughs> so, time to start gluing.
I'll just go over what these are. I already have a video about my 23 and 2023. But for the movies, we got Avatar 2, we got The Pale Blue Eye, Del Toro's Pinocchio from last year, Oppenheimer, which is a um, Nolan movie with Killian in it, Killian Murphy. So, uh, Akira, the classic that I've never seen. I bought it, it's on its way. I will be watching Akira. Uh, Ant-Man, Quantumania, Dune 1 and 2. I haven't seen either of them. 65. <laughs> yeah. And then Renfield. And I believe Nicolas Cage is playing Dracula. Like, oh my gosh. Uh, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. And the Super Mario movie. My nine shows are I still need to watch Mandalorian season two. And season three is coming out this year, so I need to catch up with season two. Loki season two. Chainsaw Man, which I just binge watched. Bleach the Thousand Year Blood War, which I'm on episode three. Trigun Stampede. Maroni Kenshin. They're doing a 2023 version. Uh, Japanese Tales of the Macabre. Uh, so it's Junji Ito Ma Manic, I believe. Yeah, I think. And then. Hell's Paradise is getting a adaptation. I want to read the manga and then watch the adaptation. And then the final part, I think, of Attack on Titan. <laughs> Season 4, part 3. Oh my gosh. Like, please. So, those are my TV shows and my movies. And now on to anticipated releases. So, this is a lot of spreads. It's a lot of work. I guess. Okay. So, time to start doing that one. I have made, um, so these are the three books that I know I am anticipating being released this year. Um, I'll also fill that out as I, can, as I learn of more. I will put any books I receive, uh, here or movies or whatever. Um, this is to keep, uh, this is to keep track of everything I buy for books and movies and seasons of TV shows. Uh, this is where I will keep track of things that I donate, whether it be a book, a movie, or a season of a TV show. And now, ugh, the painful spread. This is gonna take forever, so I'm gonna do this off camera. But I'm going to make a list of unread physical books on my shelves. And then a list of unwatched movies on my shelves. Because I have bookcases and baskets of books and movies. So, yeah, I will see you when that's done. It may be in a day or two. <laughs> Alright, so it took a couple hours, not days, but hours. And uh, I went through all of my shelves. I just skipped one. There. <laughs> So these are all the books I physically own that I have not read. These are all the movies that I physically own that I have not watched yet. A lot of these are like sets where there's multiple movies per disc. But yeah. Um, so, oh, that's done. All that's left is start January. Woo! This much is just setting up 2023. Oh, and I went in and I started coloring in uh, the ones I have read so far. So yeah. Um, 
think I'm gonna leave this blank in case something else comes up and do a January cover page. So my sister called and I kept going. But um, yeah, so January, I have a number of books that I might read. I've already read five, so, and I messed this up. It was supposed to be over one more, but eh, whatever. I've watched one movie so far this month, and I've watched one TV show so far this month. So, um, and this is where I'll keep track of the actual names. So, yeah, definitely not going to watch, like, six TV shows in a month, but you never know. So, uh, this is my to-be-read and to-be-watched, so, yeah, um, oh, I gotta figure out what else I want to do, unless I just want to dive right into spreads for what I've already read with covers and things like that. So I can do an Avatar 2 spread and a Chainsaw Man Season 1 spread. Things like that. So, yeah. That's my setup thus far. So, it only took up this much <laughs> of the journal. So, fun times, fun times. So this is the final flip through, 2023, reading goals, watching goals. This will house all my bookmarks. So this is January's, yeah. Got my bookshelf. I will draw more as needed. These are where I will keep track of the films and TV shows and things that I watch. Bracket for favorite book. Bracket for favorite movie. Bracket for favorite TV show. I might do the washi tape on the other two pages as well. We'll see. My 23 books of 2023. Twelve movies of 2023 and the nine shows of 2023. My anticipated releases, books received, purchases. I gotta fill this out now. I purchased stuff last night. Um, things that I donate, my unread physical TBR in all of its glory. I have started quite a few of these books and then got sidetracked. So, uh, yeah. Unwatched movies. January. Books, movies, TV shows. And on to spreads for each individual thing I've read. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you had fun. See you guys later.